Let's talk about Kamala Harris, who may be the most appallingly disingenuous vice president the United States has ever had since Elbridge Jerry invented gerrymandering back in 1813. Now, I don't know what is more galling about her. Is it that she continually says things that are totally ridiculous? Or is it that the same Democrats who lost their minds over Sarah Palin and Dan Quayle are totally okay with her, even suggesting that, hey, she might be an okay president one day? Well, God help us is all I can say to that. Let me play a little grab here of the vice president this week. Check this out. I'm going to share with you a very simple story, which is that I went home one day and I said, well, what's, why are conservatives bad, mommy? Because I thought we were supposed to conserve things. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't reconcile it. Now I can. <laughs> <sighs> why? Why? I got to ask, does she always laugh like a stoner kid who's just discovered old YouTubes of Cheech and Chong? Anyway, taken by itself, this would sound like just another self-serving white lie by the vice president. I mean, does anyone really believe that that ever happened? No, oh, come on. She is such, has such a fantastic history of this sort of thing. I mean, remember, back before she became vice president, Kamala Harris did a puff piece with Elle magazine, and in that st story, she told the tale of going to a civil rights march with her parents and getting upset after she fell from her stroller. Now, the article has Kamala Harris telling the story like this. My mother tells me about how I'm fussing, Harris says. And she's like, baby, what do you want? What do you need? And I just looked at her. This is Kamala Harris speaking. And I said, freedom. Yeah, for real. Now, a lot of observers at the time noted that this sounded awfully like a story Martin Luther King Jr. had told to Playboy magazine way back in 1965, back in the days when Playboy was not only a magazine, but also, yes, worth reading for the articles. In the piece, King said, I will never forget a moment in Birmingham when a white policeman accosted a little girl, seven or eight years old, who was walking in a demonstration with her mother. What do you want? The policeman asked her gruffly, and the little girl looked him straight in the eye and answered, Feedum! She couldn't even pronounce it, King said, but she knew. It was beautiful. Well, that's an inspiring story, and that's why I am skeptical for thinking that Kamala Harris's little kitty conservative caper may have been stretching the truth just a bit. Because at this point, I mean, it's like, really, where does the TV show Veep end? and the Kamala Harris vice presidency begin. I guess we should be glad she's only using stories about herself as a baby rather than a real baby. Is little Richard ready to go and meet some voters? Mom, you can't keep using our baby as a campaign prop. So it's just a few more months in Iowa, and then we're going to hide him when we get to New Hampshire. No, no crying. Mom, you cannot tell the baby N-O. Yes, N-O is a negative rejoinder. We, we don't want to constrain little Richard developmentally. What are you supposed to say then when the baby is being a for instance. You're supposed to say that's not our plan. No. I don't even know where to start. Well, child services mm -hmm. is a good place. Real life looking more like fiction every day. Or is it the other way around? 